Uh, in this video, we would like to uh, understand the difference between a wet flash over something like this that happened on the surface of the insulator versus a dry flash over that happens on air. It doesn't happen on the surface of the of the insulator. So before we un try to understand that, let's identify two important terminologies. Uh, based on them, we will be able to understand more these two uh, different uh, phenomena. So the first uh, definition that we want to understand is called the dry arc distance. And this is a, a cascaded uh, cabin bent insulators. And you can see here, this is the dry arc distance. It's basically the shortest distance through the surrounding medium between terminal electrode. So if this is your high voltage here, and this is your uh, ground, ground end. So the shortest distance through the surrounding. So you can see here, the path is, this is the shortest distance that go through air until it bridges the high voltage with the with the ground end now the arc distance will be actually responsible for the dry flash over so the dry flash over a flash over that happens in air and it doesn't happen on the surface now the other definition which is the leakage the leakage distance and what is the leakage dis distance is the sum of the shortest distances measured along the insulating surface so if this is again this is the high voltage and this is the ground end now the leakage distance as you can see it in red this is along the surface of the of the insulator so obviously the leakage distance is much longer than the dry arc distance however the surface flashovers that happens it happens when the insulator is Wet. So the flashover will happen through the surface of the insulator. When the insulator is dry, there will be no flashover on the surface of the insulator. However, it will be on the dry arc. So now we'll go to the lab and I will show you some demonstration of both the wet uh, flashover and the dry flashover. So please join me to, to our, our lab. This is the experimental setup we'll be using to test both wet and dry uh, surface dis, uh, arcing or flashover of the insulator. So this is a 400 kV transformer, and this 400 kV uh, transformer is connected to the insulator. So that's the insulator that we'll be testing. This is a silicon rubber insulator, and we'll be testing it under both. Uh, first, we'll do it under a wet condition. So we'll have a pollutant on the surface, and then we will do the same test, but under dry condition, and we'll see the difference of the discharge patterns at both the wet and the dry surface. In this video, we will be uh, recording the uh, dry band arcing that will lead to flashover. So here we have uh, an insulator that is, uh, has some pollution, and now we start to increase the voltage. And as you can see here, you start to see here the dry band arcing, taking at random position at different places. Now we'll start increasing the voltage. And you can see here it's more and more evident, the dry band arcing. And now, now it's a flashover, now it starts to happen. As you can see here, full flashover is happening between the uh, higher end to the, uh, to the grounded end of the, of the insulator. In this video, we will see uh, a dry flashover. Uh, unlike the previous video where we have a wet surface uh, discharge leading to a flashover. Now this flashover, the insulator is not wet, it is actually dry. Now we'll keep increasing the voltage, we start to hear the corona, until we will see a flashover. But this flashover, it will be different as it will be in air. It will not be on the surface of the, of the insulator. So now you can start to hear the sound of the corona and keep increasing the voltage until we have the, the flashover. Now, as you can see here, the flashover just happened and it was completely in air. So we have seen now these two different types of flashover. The wet flashover that happened on the surface and when the surface is polluted and 
the dry surface happens on air when the surface is dry. There is no there is no pollutant. Now, if I ask a question, which one you think will happen at a lower voltage, the wet or the dry? And the answer is the the wet. Although the distance between the high voltage and the ground is longer for the wet because the flash over has, has to go through all the leakage distances, but the surface resistance is very small. Why? Because of the pollutant, because of the conductivity of the pollutant, this will make the flash over happen at a lower voltage. On the other hand, the dry flash over yes happened at a shorter distance, but the resistance of air is much, much higher than the resistance of the surface polluted surface of the of the insulator. And in that specific example, the wet flash over happened around 70 kV and the dry flash over happened around 120 kV.